Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful diamond shaped earrings with seed beads and rondelles. They are easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified twice a week for my absolutely free videos for new bidding ideas and inspiration. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a short clip of this video where in just only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips where you could also might want to subscribe for new inspiration and to save time. And down there you will also find the full list of materials linked to my store link for PayPal donation to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 seed beads, four by six millimeter faceted crystals, also called rondelles. These are ear wires in old gold color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers and you could take two feet of thread on your needle which is about 60 centimeters and meet me after that. Okay and now I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to pick up 12 golden beads. Okay. Now I have my 12 golden beads here, okay, and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread and I will stick my needle in my mat and I'm going to make a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I will make one more knot just to be sure that it's all tight and secure and when I make this knot I will make sure I'm between those two beads where I started it from and then I will pull. Okay, now I will go through some beads in this direction just to pull a little bit and hide my knot. Okay, now what I need to take next are three seed beads. Okay, I have them. And I'm going back in circle through this seed bead that I'm exiting out of, you see. And then I pull. Okay. Then what I want to take are two seed beads. And you see here I have a cross of four beads. I'm using one that's in the center and adding three. Now I'm going to add two beads and go through two beads, one from the first element that I did and one that's already in the center. And when I pull, I also have a cross of four, but these two crosses of four share beads. If this explanation is not very clear for you, just follow the steps and everything will be okay. Okay, now I'm exiting out of this next bead that's on my way and I'm going to take two seed beads and I will go through these two just like this. You see again I'm having four beads that my thread is going through and again I have a cross of four. Okay then I'm going in my next seed bead and I'm going to repeat this step to make right angle weave. A cross of four is called right angle weave. Okay two and then go through two and make this beautiful cross okay then I go through the following and I'm going to continue these guys until the last step of this circle where I will do something different so continue this 
pause this video and meet me at the last step here to show you what's coming up. Ok guys, and as I continue doing this, I hope you catch up to, up to here. If not, just rewind the video and repeat the same steps I showed you in the beginning up to here. Ok, and you see here I am at my last step where I need to connect these last two elements. And I'm going like I did before through the one that's here in the center. And usually at this step I was adding two beads, one here and one here, but one is already there from the very first element that I did from this row. That is why I'm just going through it, not adding anything, and I need to add only one element, you see, to be symmetrically uh, the same like the other ones, okay? And again I'm going through four beads, but three of them are already there from my first and my last element and from the central row. That is why here in this last step I'm adding just one bead. Okay, now I will make here a little reinforce mark of this step, in this step, and I want to go here in the center through one of my golden beads here. You see I'm here in the center. If you feel it's loose, go one more time around this central part. Okay, and now it's time to take my rondelle and I'm going through it, sliding it down. And now guys, you see, as I'm exiting from this seed bead here, I want to go through the opposite bead. And how I find the opposite? I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, and going through the sixth bead here. And I'm going through it like this with my needle. Okay, and I'm going, as you see, in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. And what I do is that I pull. And now my rondelle is here in the center, situated in the center. Okay, then in my next step, guys, what I do is that I go through one of these golden beads. Okay, just like this. And I want to exit here at the edge of my work. Okay, now I'm taking one red 11-0 and going here through the next one. You see? I'm not pulling too tight, just placing it there. Okay. Then I'm going through the following and through the next one. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. You see, you see how my crystal is popping up from this side. And I'll make sure that this will be the front of my earring later. And it's a little bit slightly bending to this side and I like this effect so much. If you like better this part, you could do this, the front of your earring later. Okay, but now I will show you how to finish this element. And in order to finish it, just go through some beads in this direction and make a knot. Okay, here I want to make a knot. You could do it at the edge or next to the crystal, whatever you like, okay? I'm going through two seed beads, making a loop and going twice through this loop I've made and I pull. And then I'm going through the following seed beads and I could repeat this step several more times of making more and more knots and when I'm ready I'm always going through the following seed bead and then cutting my thread and I never cut next to a knot. And here I cut my tail thread 
and my first element is ready okay make three more like these elements if you want when you're making them just rewind this video and remind the steps and when you're ready uh, i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next guys and now i have four elements here and i'm going to show you how to assemble them in an earring okay first i take one of those elements and i take about half an arm span of thread on my needle new thread on my needle and what i'm going to do next is go here through some beads like that i'll leave a small tail here and i'll hold it with my thumb and what i want to do is make a knot and connect this thread to my work okay i'm making a loop like i showed you before I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then what I do is that I go through some beads here in this direction. Of course you could repeat this knot several times to be sure that everything is secure but uh, what I want to do is go through this red bead that is closer to the center of my crystal you see this one is closer to the center of my crystal and I'm exiting out of it and now I'm going to take my next element and I want to connect this red to this red, the reds that are closer to the hole of my crystal. And how I'm doing this, I'm taking one golden bead and I'm going here, exiting out of one of my red beads, I'm going through the other one, just like this. Okay. Now I have this one golden bead between them and I'm going to take one more golden and I'm going back here through this red one just like this and I'm pulling and what I want to do guys next is reinforce this joint here. Okay, and as I'm exiting from this red bead, my goal is this one, not the next one, but the following red. And in order to go through it, I'm going here through all of my beads in this direction. Okay, first through one of my reds, and then I'm going through the golden. and through the following red so i'm one red bead away from here and what also want to do is to cut this tail thread at this point because it will be on my way all the time okay i'm taking this element here and you see i want to attach it like this this red bead that's at this side of my crystal at this line should be pointing here and i will attach this one here and this one here so i'm taking one golden bead and as i'm exiting here from this red bead i'm going through this one like this and pull and now I have this. Then I'm going to take one golden bead. Okay. And I will go through this red bead. And in this way, I connecting, I'm connecting those two red beads in a cross with the golden ones. Okay. And now it's time to reinforce. So guys, in my next step, what I'm going to do is keep this red one and go and aim for the following, okay? Skipping this red and going for the following. 
Okay, and now I'm here and I want to connect these two red beads. Here I'm one bead away from this and one red bead away from this one. Okay, and I'm taking one seed bead and I'm going here through the opposite red bead. And when I pull, you see, those two red beads are connected with one golden like I showed you before. And I'm taking one more golden bead and I'm going here back through this red one. Okay, and I will reinforce again. Okay, and I'm paying attention that my crystals point in one in the same direction. If you were using round beads like pearls or something, you don't need to watch this. But now you need to pay attention to this one, okay? And you see guys, what I did here is that I skipped one red bead from here and I'm exiting out of this one. And now I'm going to take my last element and I'm taking it in this direction. So my crystal is pointing in the same direction like these ones. And I'm taking one golden bead and as I'm exiting from the red one of my last element, I'm going here through this red bead. You see I'm connecting those two reds with one golden and I'm taking one more golden and I'm going back through this red one here just like this. I'm making a cross and I'm reinforcing. Okay, and when I reinforce here, what I want to do is go one red bit away from here. Okay, I'm exiting here. And in my next step, you see, here I'm one bit away from this. And here I'm one bit away from this. And now I'm going to take one seed bit go through this one in this direction okay you turn your work the way it's easier for you and at one golden bead of course you could reinforce and then after you reinforce you go in this direction through all of those beads and at this step I will show you how to attach your ear wire I'm exiting through this red bead which is the opposite of this one and how I find the opposite I'm counting one two three four five and this one is the opposite okay so here guys what i need to do is take my ear wire just like this and i'm taking one red bead i'm going through my ear wire and i'm taking one more okay and pay attention how you attach your ear wire because you want the front part to be this one where your crystals are popping up at least i like this one more so my ear wire should be attached in this direction in order to be this to be the front part okay with some earrings there is no problem no need to think how you attach them but with this one there are two different sides so you should decide which one you like better 
and of course here I need to reinforce and this is the back side if you like this one more attach your ear wire uh, in the other direction okay I will be reinforcing and I'll be back to tell you how to make a knot okay and after I reinforced my work several times what I'm going to do is go in this direction just like this okay and I'm going some more maybe you could go at the edge here okay okay and here I am where I want to make a knot and cut my thread and I'm making my knot the same way I showed you first I make a loop then I go once and I go second time through the loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started my knot from and then I go through the following seed bit and you could repeat this knot several more times and when you're ready cut your thread okay I'll do this one more time okay then I'm going through the following seed bit and after that I cut my thread and now guys my rondelle diamond shape earring is ready okay guys and now my diamond shape rondelle earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find a short clip of this video where, where in only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips. You could subscribe there just to save time and for new inspiration. And down there you will also find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.